Um, hi, Hal. Who was your role model growing up? Who was your role model growing up? Who was my role model growing up? You know, I was uh, a monster kid, if you know who they are. People who uh, fetishized and deeply studied monster movies. The first stage of Bull Dada is studying monster movies. Any monster magazine, I or my friends could find at convenience stores, were sacred and holy texts. So, on the basis of that, I think uh, my childhood hero, and still my hero as an adult, was uh, stop-motion animator Ray Harryhausen. Although, uh, ostensibly a technician, they're really his movies. And yes. in his last movie, he's not doing a, a special effects for a movie with Laurence Olivier so much as Laurence Olivier is in one of his crazy movies with mm -hmm. animated monsters. When you see a monster in his movies, it's really there. Yes. Uh, yeah. And it's also interesting to realize that the monster, although it appears to be behind things and in the picture, is really in the foreground. And that when it walks behind something, that's because part of the image is matted away. Before we uh, move on to go back to the questions, there was one thing I wanted to ask your, your thoughts on regarding these, these special effects. Um, I've heard it said that uh, classical special effects in movies like Harryhausen's would show you something the way you imagined it would look. And modern day special effects, the CGI, shows you things as they would, as they would actually be in real life. Like if they actually existed. Uh, do you think that there's anything to that? Yes, I do. Uh, because you're seeing an artistic vision on one hand, the analog special effect, and in the modern uh, computer-generated effect, you're seeing something which is kind of determined by a committee. Uh, Harryhausen didn't even know what his uh, film would look like when it came back from the lab. Uh, he had a pretty good idea, mm -hmm. uh, and he used all the tricks of film editing. But uh, today, you can see it instantly, and then you can tweak it, and you can keep tweaking it until mm -hmm. everybody is satisfied. Yes. But when everybody is satisfied, there's less of an opportunity for the uh, vision of one person to predominate. But there's no reason that uh, it has to be that way. This right. is the, the organization of film studios, and a strong enough uh, director can use the marvelous ability of uh, computer-generated effects to, to do it. It's just it's hard to make it out of committee. Even right. in the little film that I made, uh, you really have to struggle to get your uh, mm -hmm. intent known.